Okay, this is Scrappy Camp for Sisters. <laughs> and I'm Darcy, and John is with me on Skype. Hello. She's with me in spirit. <laughs> and we are doing a recording tonight of this mini album. This is the I Want a Pony horse trailer and mini that we broadcast a couple months ago. And um, the recording didn't make it. The errors were either allowed me to forge ahead with the broadcast or record. So I made the choice to forge ahead with the broadcast for the people that were watching us, but now we just have to go back and do a recording. So this is the trailer, and it's made with Cartabella Giddy Up Boy, that paper line, and you can see it's got a little, uh, little hitch and the wheels and the windows. Of course, my hand's covering half of it. And here's the back, and then Inside, there is actually a foal, not a pony, but there is a pony. There's a little foal in here. And then the mini album goes in the other stall. And then the whole thing closes up and wheels away. So we're going to work on this tonight. Yay. Okay, so. <laughs> Woohoo! So what you're going to need, uh, Jonna, you mentioned something about printing, because she was printing out this pattern. We're going to have the pattern on our blog, and um, it only has these two pieces. It has a horseshoe, and it has a pattern for the mini, which is the complete piece here. And then it has the horseshoe that's cut out. And some stars if you want to decorate the cover with the stars. And so Jonna was saying that when she printed it out, to make sure that you know what the measurements are, and we'll have them posted as well, so that you know whether it printed out okay. And then, what did you say, Jonna? Something about it's four and three, four and three quarters. Yeah, by five and a half. By five and a half. But well, you, what did you? You hit something on your printer settings that you said got it to the right size. Oh, fit to yeah, you, something. You did fit to page. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. We'll get started. But anyway, this is uh, this is the mini, and it has some pockets, and so we're going to be doing this. It goes together really quickly. Some little bands that look like a cinch, like you find on a saddle. Some little kind of little mini mini albums in here, tags, and some pull downs. This paper line's really pretty. It had a lot of cutouts, so it was really easy to do. And then we embossed the horseshoe to look like rusty metal. I'm going to work with more horseshoe. Okay, so we're going to get going. So what you're going to need first is your chipboard pieces, and you're going to cut one of the horseshoes and two pieces of the pattern out of chipboard for your covers. So the first thing we're going to do is emboss the horseshoe. So what I did was I mixed four different colors of embossing powder. And I used some Distress Embossing Powder. I'm going to tell you things I used. Walnut Stain and Vintage Photo. And then I also used some Powder Keg Antique Copper. Sprinkle a little of that in there. And some, uh, what's this one? This is Lindy's, I believe, Moon Glow Queen Sheba Silver. So I dropped some of that in. Then I have this other cool color from Lindy's as well that's hydrangea blue, and I might just sprinkle just a tiny bit of blue in because the papers we're using have blue in it. And the papers we're going to use are Bow Bunny, and it's, the line's called Prairie Chic. It's really pretty. It's very denim -y and girly and pastel-y, but then it has the woods and uh, the denim, like I said. So it's going to be a really pretty line. I think it's going to be adorable when it's done. Yeah. So we're, gonna get, so we're gonna get going. I already started. Honestly, you guys, I don't know how long this embossing how long does this embossing powder stay sticky, John? I'd have to do this again. Is it tacky? I don't know. Let me see. That's still a little tacky. I mean you can always pour it on there and see if what sticks and then heat that and then Yeah. I, I I'll just point. try I'll try to do the rest of this and just see. I think that's stuck right there the little bit I started on. Okay. So I've like never used the Lindy's embossing powder. Is their embossing powder good? Yeah, nice. 
I love mixing it, and I love mixing it with the Distress. It's a little bit harder to see what it looks like when you um, heat it up, but it, it really is pretty. It's, um, is it like their sprays where you get like two colors in and one, like, you yeah, know how to spray? I, it's more soup, it's more super, it's like fine powder. Oh, okay, it's fine embossing powder. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to dump that back in. So I may have to hit this, I may have to hit this in a couple spots. Let me see. Okay. Because I like their sprays, their, um, their star dot, starburst or whatever, and I like their moon. Oh, yeah. Because they have like two or three shades within the one mixed in with the walnut stain. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I need to do a couple coats of this. I think I had to do that before anyway. Oh, I really needed to mix some more of this. I didn't know how much to mix. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do a couple of plates. I think it's not, not really sticking there. Yeah, but that might look kind of cool if you heat it now. Yeah, I'm going to try heating and just see what we get. And if it missed some spots, then what will happen is it'll be bumpy because yeah. you'll go back in and it'll have one layer in one area and two in the other. I think that might look kind of neat. Yeah, well, in the distress, um, yeah, the distress is like bumpy. Yeah, it'll peel kind of out. It's going to look kind of neat. Ooh, that looks cool. That's going to be intense. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to need another coat. Not starting. Yeah, see that? It's all kind of blown off. Well, you can sprinkle some on while it's wet. Okay. Ooh, but it's blowing everywhere. <laughs> How do you get this on here without it blowing everywhere? You heat it from underneath. Oh yeah, that's not going to happen. I can't. All right, well we're going to just go this route. We'll make it really super chunky. That looks more real anyway when you make it chunky like that, I think. Yeah. Okay, I think it's, I think this is done. The smoke's rising. The smoke's rising. Oh my gosh, Jean right now would be like, do you have a mask on? <laughs> I have the window open. Okay, oh, so do I put more of the embossing powder on it? Is it wet? Is it, or is it dry? Well, I did try to put some on and then of course it blew all over the place. I don't think that worked. I think I need to pop more of this stuff on it. Yeah, you need to put more of the ink on there, embossing ink. Okay. It feels dry. It feels dry here. But when it's melting is when you should you can pour more on when it's melting. But yeah. you pull the, pull the heat gun away from it. Yeah, but the problem is that you still got to have this stuff. If it's not on there at all, it doesn't matter. It's that I think that's what happened. It just dried up and oh, I yeah. let it sit too long. That's okay. Let's do another. It'll be. It's gonna look cool. It's kind of cute, yes. All right, so I'm going to mix up some more. I'm just going to mix up a bunch. 
more is better. Do you think? Yep, that's my motto. Do you have these colors or anything like it? Um, I don't have any of the Lindy's. I just ordered the industrial chic ones, mm -hmm. but I, I don't have just to try them. But yeah. I don't have any of the Lindy's embossing powders. I have Zing. I have the oh. distress. Okay. I have the distress ones. Well, the distress ones are the ones that really make it look like metal. Yeah. So. I mean, like yeah, like metal. Yeah, metal. Like rusty metal. Okay, so I gotta go here. Now she goes here. Eileen's going to be so proud of me. This is going to be cool. Actually. Can I just kind of push it in a little bit? Um, I'm not, I can't really see what you're doing. Okay. I'll move it. <laughs> that might not be a bad thing. <laughs> Because you didn't tilt the thing down. But I didn't want to say anything. It's getting there. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oops. Here. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh, that's looking cool. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try again. But it's blowing all over, Donna. It's, I don't know. Okay, pick, pick it up. Yeah, do it from underneath. Yeah. yeah. No, pick, just pick up the horseshoe. I need, like, um... Tweezers or something. Yeah. I don't have any... I don't want to like, I don't want to hit my fingers. Oh, you, and you might be holding it a little too close when you, maybe that's why it's blowing off. You need to kind of start out far and then head in. Yeah, I, I think I, at least I got it started that way, so now it's not going to blow around. Yeah. Okay, so now, while it's hot, I should be able to drop some in. Woohoo! She's excited. I love it too. really messy. I'm pretty sure people who know more about this than I do would do much better. But it's still fun. I want to keep that one spot and um, get my own there. I do it, Jonna, and then just like dumping some of this on it. <laughs> oh yeah, see that's cool. Um, I was talking to Eileen the other. Can you hear me? Yeah. I was talking to Eileen the other night. Have you tried the frontage? Have I tried what? Frontage? No. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get my hands on some of that stuff. What is it? It's embossing powders, but it's like, it'll have like flakes of mica and micro beads and all kinds of just chunky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Even yeah. like little tiny seashells and they have all kinds of stuff mixed in with embossing. Mm -hmm. All melt. Oh, it's amazing. It's but you definitely funny. have to heat it from underneath. Yeah. Well, sure, because it's chunky like that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I did miss that one spot right there. Let me just get that. Woohoo! I'm getting pretty good at the UV-handed thing.
Okay, I'm happy with how that looks. That actually looks really good. What a mess! I suppose I need to wait for it to cool a minute, huh? Is that what has to happen here? That looks awesome. Yeah, but now after all that drama, I gotta do the other side. So, I don't know. I almost feel like... Yeah, that kind of blew everywhere. <laughs> this poor pad. I think this pad's a goner. <laughs> but I saw somebody else doing it, and their pad looked pretty bad, too. So I was like, well, I don't know. You have a refill for it? or it's Yeah, just I have like a re, a re for it. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think this will work better because I let it sit too long last time. But now we need more! It did use, it did use a decent amount. Well, I think because you're trying to put it on there thick too. Yeah. I am. Yeah, because like, I want it to look chunky like a, like a horseshoe. Yeah. And the other side isn't really going to show, but it shows just a little bit here and there, so... You know, I don't want it to just have chipboard under there. So it doesn't have to be as thick, but I do want it to still look good. So. Okay, here again. Yeah, it kind of, oh, this is coating much more nicely this time. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Life in the wood. Well, this, yeah, it's slightly nice, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm talking to people watching the recording earlier. Donna and I were starting, and all of a sudden, some car alarm goes off out there, and I was like, oh my gosh. And the dog's barking, and her dog barks when he hears mine. And it was just crazy. It was definitely the dog. Here we go again. I love watching her turn now. Yeah, that's the best part when it starts to melt and looks magical. I don't boss. I didn't really even have to record that, I bet. Not everybody knows how to emboss. Oh, yeah, don't learn from me. But actually, this is so forgiving. I mean, well, by the time, I mean, it really does look like, it really does look like a horseshoe. It's so cool. I, you know, you can't really mess it up, trust me. I, I would have already done that. Okay. So, now this is effectively stuck to my bathroom. Let's see. Oh, that looks awesome! Look! Pretty. That's really neat. It's nice and shiny in places and chunky in other places, and then supposedly you're supposed to like scrape some of it off. I didn't know that. I didn't do it. 
but it looks really cool. Okay, so now I can get set aside. <sighs> Phew, glad that's over. <laughs> this isn't even, this is like not powder anymore. That was fun, let's do some more. Let's do some more embossing. Okay, so now I'm going to clear this, clear the deck with this thing. And we'll start working on the paper. So. Are you working on the cover now? I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to, um, yeah, typically you're going to get your, you're going to get your everything covered. That's the next thing I, I do. So you're going to take your two chipboard pieces and you're going to get your pieces of paper and then to cut your papers you're going to want six interior pages. If you're using double-sided paper you can use a six by six pad. That's what I like about this mini. Um, and you're going to do six pages. If you get double-sided you'll cut twice as many and you'll have to stick them together. And that's what I'm going to have to do because the Bow Bunny 12 by 12 is um, double-sided, and that's what we're going to use for the trailer. But the 6 by 6 is single, so I'm just going to stick them together. And um, I'm gonna, we'll do the covers. So for the covers, the covers have a tag inside. And so the way you're going to do that is we're not attaching the horseshoe yet, so we're making this piece right in here. So you're going to attach your two paper pieces to the chipboard, you can stick down this one with your score tape or ATG or glue, however you want to do it. But this piece right here, you're going to do glue right around the edges so that you can create a pocket. And then we're going to line it with a scrap of paper and then I inked this tag. I'll probably do some distress paint tonight on a couple tags. And um, it fits right in there like that. So we're going to do one there and we're going to do the same thing back here. So this is probably a better better one to show you. So you've got your little pocket and then you've got um, chipboard in the middle and then paper on the back. So that's what we're going to do now. <coughs> John, any questions or comments? Anything you want to add? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's pretty clear. I like how, this one. How many pieces of okay? How many pieces of chipboard do you need to cut out? You only need two, yeah. You only need two. So you need two pieces of chipboard of and this then shape. In that shape. And then one in this shape. Okay. And then how many pieces of paper do you need in that shape right there? That not. You need, if you have double-sided paper, you need 10 because you want two for each cover. That's four. And then six interior pages. Okay. If you want single-sided, you're going to do 12 and 4. You're going to do 16. Okay. So I guess you have to keep cutting. Huh? So if you, if you have, a, like, a thick double-sided paper, you only need six. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, and that's what this was, the Cardabella. Um, that was what was so nice about this one. I went together so quickly. This is just a nice, good, um, nice thickness of pattern paper. And you don't have to worry too much about the fact that you're just using pattern paper for your interior pages because the chipboard covers give this whole thing strength. It's got three holes for the binding. And then once you get your photos in, the whole thing will be nice and sturdy. So I wouldn't use a thinner paper, but I would use a nice thick paper and Yeah, like the Teresa Collins mm -hmm. Cardabella makes a good thick paper. Authentique. Authentique, yeah. That'd be yeah, something like that. Nice, nice good size. And the bow bunny is actually nice too. It's not really thin. Its only problem is it's single sided. If I were gonna use the twelve by twelve on the mini, I would just use the I just use one piece. I wouldn't okay. that, I wouldn't do it this way. Yeah. Think about the pages of a book. And by the time you get your photos in there, you know. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So.
So why don't we just go ahead and stick it down. So this is going to be my front cover. Ooh, this is just really adorable. And I'm just going to use some zip dry and some um, squirt brush. How far did you get, Jonna? I'm still cutting out paper. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I'm going to probably use my AQG too. But I'm laughing. Yours will be all done by the time. Well, I'm laughing because that's what I'm always doing in yours. I got all my favorite. I'm cuts. still cutting paper. So this is the back. And because it's the back, I am totally sticking it down. I'm not, um, I'm not going to put it off. Well, I didn't, I can't emboss while I'm on this thing with you because it's going to be too loud. I know. Well, at least it won't take you long. You know what you're doing. I just need to have it all cut out. And then I can assemble it with the video. Yeah. So I'm just using um, I'm just using some I decided to use my ETG instead. So I'm using my ETG and my uh, zip drive. Or yeah, I was gonna say I'm probably gonna end up using my Zyron. Yeah, you can definitely do that. So, because I'm making a pocket out of this, I'm just doing the glue on the edges. Oh, okay. you have to do pockets. And, oh, yeah, and I'm going to punch this real quick, too. I forgot. Okay, so, if I'm doing my, if I'm using my Zyron, how many do I need to leave out to have pockets in them? All of them? No, you only need um, one side of each cover. Okay. So, I'm going to put a piece of scrap down there. I'm glad that you mentioned that you're making a pocket. I forgot. Or I would have zoned on both pieces down. Oops. Yeah, that would have been good. I just need a scrap of paper that I said I was going to put on here. Quickly for the pocket. Let me see. Oh yeah, and for all of you scrap goods people that have all your have, still have all your scrap good kits laying around, um, I did. Uh oh, I can't hear you. Are you there? Can you hear me now? Yes. You just come. Okay. Oh, where did you lose me? Like I when you said down. for all you scrap goods people. Something. Oh yeah, the line that works with this. Let me see what month that was. That had like the, it had like the Texas Star board. It had um, that was what month was that? It had like really cute little denim brad button. It was oh goodness, I don't have my glasses on. I can't read that. It looks like March of two thousand seven, but I think that's what you said. Mm -hmm. Might be May. Just rearing, rearing, and rearing. rearing. So if you're like me and you didn't use your scrap good kits up, <laughs> oh, it is March of 2007. It had a lot of cute stuff that would go Over. with this line. I mean, go with this project. Yeah. And I think in my Bohemian, no, it was the blue and the brown and the green. It's an old line. I'm punching the inside. I just find it easier to punch this so I know which way it's going to go and where it's going to go. <laughs> I have a bad sense of direction. So I like to get that out of the way first. And I'm just going to line that little piece with some paper. Show up where everybody can see me. That's like my worst thing. 
I tend to do dots because I find they spread out and then um, then you don't get through it either. I still get through it a little bit, just saying. It does seem to help me a little. I'm going to get my back out of this. A little bit, let's see, just a little bit of an edge there. Is it straight? I'm going to press this and cut the little one. You know me, cut over and trim. It's my motto. Things exact when you're cutting it all by hand, too. That's true. Well, and then we're going to go around and ink everything. So it's all going to work out. It always does. To pull my stand out. I have a stand for that. Um, for your embossing gun? Yeah, my ATG. You have a, they make a stand for an ATG gun? No, I just I have one. I have a vintage um, tool caddy, and it just leans right in there. That looks good. I can stand. I stand mine up in my. Whatchamacallit dingy thing that holds your cup on the side? Uh, oh, that little stand thing that goes on your chair? No, it goes on your desk. You screw it in and it holds like a bag and it'll hold your cup. Yeah, it sits in there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's great. So when you're not crafting with me, I use that cup holder to hold it. Oh, you use mine. Because I have two of them. <laughs> Jonna has room for two people to craft. It's the best. And actually, we talked about that. I'm going to go down there for New Year's. that would be fun. For the New Year's stream at dawn. Yes. I cannot believe we would be together. That would be so fun. Ugh. All right. Oh, this is just darling, she says. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of shaped minis. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know. But I do think this one's really cute because I think it goes with the theme. You know, like when it goes with the theme, it's kind of fun. And but, it's bigger, so it actually will hold a photo. Yeah, I just, um, I think they're, you know, they're a little fussy. That's all. That's if I say I don't like it, but it's they're just a little fussy. You got it takes a little bit to get all the pages, and then once you do, you're good. So we got those, got the covers, and let those sit and dry. And really, probably should just ink them now, and then we're done. Oh. So I'm going to use my gathered twigs. This dress, I love this shape. Yeah, those were a lot. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. Mine was Vintage Photo for a while, and then it came out with Gather Twigs, and now... Do not tell Vintage Photo I'm cheating on him. Do not. <laughs> that's my go-to. But this brown was very similar to the, the wood paper, so I thought, oh, it's cute with it. I just think that Gather Twigs is like a... It's a true brown. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. Probably totally out of the screen too. But I just realized. Let me 
She let those dry. I don't know if she's at the other side too. Let's do that real quick. This blue jean paper is so cute too in this, in this line. Got like the little seam and some embroidery on it. Basically, I'm just going around to get rid of the white, a lot of the white edges. So. Ah, adorable. Okay, so we do this thing. So now we're going to put together the pages. And again, those go equally quickly. It'd go much more quickly if you had double sided, but that's okay. We'll do that. So. Also, you're going to have, I should probably tell you at this point, you're going to have six interior pages in here. You can certainly add more. And there's two page styles. One is a simple pocket page like this. And this is also in the instructions on how to make that little pocket. Because you just basically take your pattern and measure up, I believe it's two and a half inches, but let me check for you. My ruler's probably buried under here somewhere hiding in plain sight. But I also, you know what's so weird, you guys? I used this thing for a long time before I realized, oh, hey, wait a minute, there's a ruler right here. <laughs> John, did you notice that? Oh, there's a ruler right on my cutting pad. It's like right on it. Like, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> yeah, mine has that too. I forget it's there all the time. I know. I'm like whining and I'm like, where's my ruler? Okay, so what was I saying? Ah. Oh. So the pockets are, yep, two and a half inches. So you just cut up on that pattern, two and a half inches, and that's your pocket. So four, you're gonna have four, four pockets. And then the other two pages will have this little band on it. And then you can do things like this, like my little, and we'll get as far as we can with it. I have a little meander album in there, a little teeny one and a vellum envelope, and I have a flip down with a tag in here that comes out. And then I did one band going sideways and one going up and down. And then I had this little accordion that unties and um, unties and folds out. So you can do all kinds of things with it. But my advice is keep it fairly simple because then you'll have more you'll have room for your photos. Oh, but you can also use a punch and you can do a decorative edge on these pockets. Or you could do a, I had another punch out here, my chain punch. So that you could do, because I was thinking of something horse, you know, like a bridle. So you could make this trim and you could attach it too, which would be really cute. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. So, I'm going to just go ahead and put these, just put these together. Now this would be a good spot for the Xyron, is right now, doing, doing the pages. Oops, instead of getting my ATG. Oh, it's squeaky! It's squeaky! Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like my Xyron. My ATG is squeaky, my brayer is squeaky, everything is squeaky. I'm not going to use a lot of glue, but I'm going to use some on the edges just to keep it. My Xyron finally fits the that bad of the new one. Oh, I haven't even pulled my Xyron out. I don't have any room for it. I want to use it. Not working. Oops. That was bad news. Can you still see me? <laughs> this is what I was looking for. Sounds like the old west at your place. <laughs> Not when the car horns and the music are going. We got sure. a big musical festival going on this weekend, so. Oh. There's a lot happening. Happening in the city. Okay, so obviously for the pocket, you're gonna use blue because you want to you want it to dry thoroughly. Let me just do the pocket, I guess. 
Are you using your Zyra? Not. No, I have um, double sided paper. Oh, lucky you. Well, that's. So I only used it on the two piece. I'll only use it on the two pieces that yeah. are on the cover. Well, that's how you'll get caught up. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that trick next time I'm behind some somebody's tutorial and <laughs> they use double sided paper. Like, yeah, that will help. Let's see. Where's the spray? I don't know. Where that's going to belong to some page in there somewhere, I guess. This paper is so adorable. I just love it. So really, if anybody needed to like get coffee right now, they could because this is all we're going to do is just stick them into paper together. Okay, I'll be right <laughs> <laughs> Poor Donna. We deprive her of tea and coffee and beverages and breaks. And when you're doing this too, if, if you want to make more pocket pages, just like we did for the cover, you certainly could. I, um, you know, like have a tag inside as well as um, as well as the one on, on the outside. You could certainly do that. But that's going to give you that's a nice way actually. Okay, this. But you know, the fun of all this is once you get this part down, this decorating it. That's really good. That's the fun. I'm down back. Okay. I'm still doing the same thing that I was doing before. That blue one. That blue one goes to something. Let's see what it goes to. I don't know if this one. Maybe two pieces of paper were just stuck together when you cut it. No, I'm, it definitely goes to one. I'm just picking out what's pretty, oh. what's prettier. Just what's pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only four, so one, I think it goes here. I think this is the one that it goes on. Because that looks really cute together right there. Okay. Yeah, because that's, um, this is one for the uh, belly band thing. And I have another, I do have another page floating around here somewhere. If I don't, I need to cut another one. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you one of mine, but it that doesn't match. No, I did cut. I did cut one. I just it's around somewhere. Oh, this is adorable paper. Oh, adorable. Okay, so four pocket pages. That takes care of that. Here's a band page, and then there should be another one over here. And if there isn't, cut one. No big deal. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Um, Hobby Lobby has two lines. One's called Yeehaw Girl. Um, Yeehaw Boy, I think it's called. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. But it's thin paper, so you would have to, it's only one-sided. Mm -hmm. It's their paper pad, you know? Oh, sure. But they're cute, and it's real similar. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, the Hobby Lobby. She, I really like the way my horseshoe came out. kind of happy about that. Okay, yeah, so somehow I ended up 
I don't know. I, you know what's going to happen, John? I'm going to find like these cutouts everywhere tomorrow. That's what's going to happen because I've been cutting them out. Like I'm missing a page. I need to cut another one. And I cut oh. it and I can't find it. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. I'm just. They're just. They'll show up somewhere somehow. Oh, this is so cute. I have to use that actually. This pink is cute. I'm going to use this pink. Okay. So I'm just going to be cutting out another one. Yeah, because one, two, three, four, pocket pages, covers, and then, um, the belly band people. It was really dumb. I act like I didn't make it. I apologize to any viewers out here who think I'm being, like, uh, proud of myself. It's more shock and amazement, isn't it, Joanna, wouldn't you say? No, it's really cute. You should be proud of yourself. I, don't, I just like it. I just like it because I'm finally going to have a place to put my horse pictures. And I actually have one out here. Who's going to take her? I have a picture of my bunny. Oh, here she is. Where's my pony? That was Tinker. We had another one too named Belle. Which is how she ended up being named Tinker. She's sweet, little Shetland. Oh, yeah, and we didn't get to tell that whole story either. <laughs> John, of how we got her. Oh, yeah. You want to tell it? Well, maybe we should, we could call Mom in on when you go do the trailer one. Okay, and have her tell how we got yeah. Tinker. No, sweetheart. Yeah. But she was in a commercial with Melody. Yeah. Melody shot, remember Melody shot a commercial on her? Yeah, our other sister was in a commercial riding her. Yeah. She's a good girl. Yeah, I used to show her. We did a lot of horse shows when we were kids. and um, I showed her too. She lived forever. Did you show her? Oh my gosh, yeah, in 4-H. Yeah. yeah. Jonna and I are yep. almo uh, almost... So I outdrew her and then I showed... Dash. We're almost eight years apart, so... I was um, actually married and not living at home when Jonna did a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, I showed Dash too for a while. Yep, I remember that. Melody was away at... Yeah, we had a beautiful Appaloosa. That's what that little briar foal reminds me of. If they had white spots, it would have looked like Dash. Get out your galaxy marker. <laughs> I know. It would have looked like our little, because we got him when he was a baby. We do so Okay, there. See? There's my pages. Done and done. The cool thing I liked about Dash was that Nothing, like, scared him. He wasn't one of those, like, scary horses. Yeah, he was really mellow. Yeah. Even being raised from a foal, or yearling, actually. He's a yearling. We got him. Yep. I like my horse, Willie. Oh, my gosh. She was afraid of everything. Aw. And then we also had a, another we had a beautiful Welsh pony named Belle. She was our first. And then I had a horse because I outgrew Tinker. And um, she was a quarter horse, a buckskin. She looked just like Ben Cartwright's horse on Bonanza. And uh, I, I don't have a lot of good pictures of her. You know, it's funny when you're riding, you're not taking pictures at the same time. We have video, but I don't have a lot of photos. I know, I don't have a lot of photos of Willie either. Yeah. When I look back, but I was like, yeah, you really, when you're out there by yourself, you don't really take a lot of photos. No. So. But it's nice to have a place to put those memories. And uh, Jonna and I have said this before, that a lot of the projects we do, we do simply to capture our own memories. You know, how often do you make things for other people? We certainly do. And you're not really taking the time to record your own, your own things. So... That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're hoping you will do. And you'll think about those happy times in your life and 
you know, record them because your children and grandchildren want to know those stories. Okay. I'm just grabbing paper. I don't know what I planned. Oh yeah, I want to pink. <laughs> like I don't know what I was thinking. I like that pink. The colors are really pretty in this. I love the combination of kind of the floral and the um, the wood green. I think it's really sweet. And I will say this too because I'm using glue. The paper is really um, handling very nicely. I'll tell you what, there's some paper out there and I, I'm not going to get into specific brands because I can't really recall off the top of my head sometimes, but there are some that you just start working with and it, it's just a fight the whole time, you know, and then some just sort of fall into place. Trying to think, maybe what I'll do is this was going to be the one of the belly band pages. Yeah, I really like working with um, Echo Park brand. Mm -hmm. I love, I love. There's double sided, yeah, smooth. So it's just great for when you're working on a project and a mini because you can use both sides. Or if you're, you know, mm -hmm. I love their paper for smooth for smooth line. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some, I don't know, it'll all fall into place. I'm like, I don't know what I did exactly, but I did something. <laughs> I did something. Did I call them the news two together? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to be on, in the camera. I'm just trying to match up my pages. Um, my two colors for my bands, because I already cut them out, are the denim, dark blue denim and this floral, which I think would look really sweet on there. So, I'm going to kind of reserve that. So let's see what we got left. Okay, I have... What a mess. I have one, two... Let's just get the top of pages done. So there are two done right there. And then this one right here. This is going to go on the back of this. Let me see what all my other choices are. There. I think this would be cute here. This could go here. That looks kind of cute too, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I wanted to do the bottom on this one. Okay, that works. Okay, let's get this one done. Alright, so somehow I ended up with an extra. I don't know. Oh no, I guess not. That's the back of that. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I know, you can spend hours cutting paper. That's the thing. And then by then you're like too pooped to make anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm at the, I'm done now. Well, I, I did that mini, so yeah. I worked, finished up on that mini today and I'm like, my arm is shot. Aww. Jonna finished um, her, her, you know, she made that scamper for a new one, her little tag along and uh, she finished the mini for the giveaway, so that was cool. Yep, I just need to snap some photos and send it out. Yay! Johnny, you have good advice though on organizing yourself for making minis. You do. I do. Mm -hmm. Like, what, would you cut? You would cut all your paper out. Like, you would do things on different successive days or something. Yeah, I tend to like gather, I decide what paper I'm going to do, and then I gather, like, I just go through all my stuff and gather, like, items that are the same color, 
And I do that all one time. Like, I'll just go through my stash and I'll pull, like, brads. Even if I don't think I'm going to use them, I don't know. It's just, you never know what you need. And then I just start throwing it in the bin. And then one day I'll cut out, I'll cut out all my papers. And then the next day I'll usually cut out all my mats. And then I assemble. And then the last day I usually am just decorating. So... I mean, I have to break it up now because I can't. I know. For a long period of time, but. Jonna has issues with her shoulder and she's been in physio and we appreciate your prayers and good thoughts because it is getting better. It's just been a trial. And it's hard. You don't realize, believe it or not, you do not realize how much you use your shoulders when you're doing this. Oh, that's all you use your upper back. Yeah. Your upper back, and because you're like hunched over as a crafter, what happens is like everything in the front of your shoulder and your chest muscles, where your pectoral muscles are, they t they get tight, and your back, mu your upper back muscles get kind of like frozen in that position, trying to support your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Not good. So it's just real important as you're crafting, take some time out and do some stretches. And now I know better. I wanted to do this next to this. That gives me the band on the pocket. I'm sure I'm moving this around a lot. There's my first pocket. It's going somewhere. is just gathering more stuff than what you need mm -hmm. when it comes time to putting it together. That way you're not stopping and taking a break on, oh, I know I have a brad that will go with this somewhere. Oh, I know I have, like, a sticker that will go with this somewhere. And then you spend time, because then what happens is you spend time looking for all that stuff, and then you get back to facts. I feel like I'm like, oh, I know I have something, and I have to try to go find it. Yeah. That's why if you take one day and all you do is... Maybe it's the day that you're cleaning up and putting stuff back, and then that's the day, like from another project, that's the day you pull stuff for that next project. Yeah. That's kind of what I do. Let's see how many pages I ended up with after all that crazy stickiness. I do have one with that pocket on both sides, but I like it. That was a happy accident. So, let's do it again. Okay. So, goes with that. And just two. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna just get these two stuck together now. These are the two band pages. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. Well, the decorating is the fun part. I mean, let's face it, right? True. Well, it's just where it comes alive, I think. Your project becomes alive. Yeah. What always happens at the end when I'm fading, though.
But that's because we do those marathons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody asked us to do that. Exactly. It's just easier for us because our time's limited, and really, we're better off just motoring through for a whole day and trying to spread it out and making the schedule work. So, okay, just so you guys can kind of see where we're at. This. this is going to be my back. This is going to be my cover. This is going to have the horseshoe. Come on. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. With a stripe. Like that. And then it's going to go, let's see how the, how the order is going to play out in terms of the pages. I like the pink. Maybe to go like that. And I you know one of these has like the wood in the back. So let's see. Maybe we'll just do it that way. If you're not pattern, we'll go there. Oh yeah, that did work out because I wanted that little bit of wood on the pocket to go with the wood here. <gasps> Yay, it actually works, people! And then a little tag. So that's darling. So once you get all that done, I will be going around and inking the pages and everything. But I think right now we'll just start jumping into doing some, some of the page enhancements. We'll do the um, the little bands for the two band pages. So let's see. Here's one. And which other one is I gonna put it on? I think it's gonna be this side. Hmm. I actually like those two together. Maybe we'll just put it right there. Why not? Let's do these two. Okay, so the way you do that is you take, you're going to end up with a total of five and a half here. And let me move some of this out of the way. And then you're going to take an overlapping piece of about three inches. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to ink and distress this too. We're going to cut this into a point. You can do a point, you can do it round, however you want to do it. I'm going to try to fill it even. And then I can figure out, I can leave my other thing there. And then one of the things you're going to have from making the trailer, and if you don't have it yet, I'll explain what I did, was I took aluminum metal tape, put it through the Tim Holtz embossing, the rivet metal embossing folder, and you'll see this being used when we make the trailer. And we're going to use a little bit of this for the band for the cinch. So I'm just going to neaten this up a bit. I really like that where that stitching is. I think it's so cute. Try to keep that. So maybe do it that way. I like that little hole too. I think I'm gonna stick that down here and then. And then it's kind of so what we're going to do is, this is so crazy, I do this all the time, like, oh, like where's the piece I just cut? <laughs> I think I'm going to eat these first. I think I'm going to actually make the band, then I just stick it down. Donna, can you tell how long we've been on? 
Uh, no, because we never stopped Skype. Okay. Um, what, I think it was like around 8. Okay. Like, I think it was like 10 after 8 or something when we started. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So then, what I'm making right now is this right here, this band. How long is that paper strip? It's the length, this is five and a half, the length of the yeah. mini, and this one's three. So I'm going to put two eyelets in the three inch one. I have it over here. I'm going to put it over here. I think it's just going to be there. chipboard or anything? No, because by the time you get it down and glued, it's just a belly band, Jonna. Okay. So this this piece that you're that we're eyeliding is actually um, you can actually glue this down at these two points and you can even fit a little tag in there too if you want. And then it's glued here and here. Oh, okay. So it'll hold it's just holds photos and stuff. I just um, had pulled my eyelets and after all my embossing drama, I'm like, my eyelets are, I think I'm doing my cutting pen. <laughs> that was so difficult. Oh yeah, there they are. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. And then for this, of course, I eyeball it. You get my crocodile in. Okay, on the crocodile, when you do the eyelet, is the long thing on the top or the bottom? I put it on the top. Okay. I do it like that, and I have a lot of success with that setting. I use the flattest setting I can get on the bottom, and then I use, depending on the size of the eyelet, either the wide one or the narrow little spiky thing. Yeah. Um, I don't use all of those bottom choices. I don't know what they're for, but these seem to work for me. So, I'm just going to do it quick. And this is really just a decorative accent. I mean, I'm just line them up. really good with eyelets now. I used to just be a mess. I mean, they were, they would always smash and look terrible. But this gal named Sparkle, that was a real name, isn't that a great name? <laughs> up at, um, Archivers helped me. I brought my crocodile up there at a crop once. I used to go to their crops all the time. I'm like, please show me how to use this. Please show me how to use this. And she did. And basically that was her tip, you know, don't mess with all the different kinds of options, just do this one. I was like, okay. So I'm just trimming some of this off, some of the little edges, and then I'm going to ink it and then we'll put the band on. Okay. This is what happens when I use uh, my ATG. I never get it stuck down right the first time. <laughs> and a little more. Oh, keep the 
forgetting. See, I think it's the sh I can feel it in my shoulders too because I keep pulling back. I forget that I'm out of the range of the camera. So it's like sorry. I uh, know I can't remember if it was Jean or Joyce told me to take some masking tape and make a square. Yeah. And the last video I did, I forgot. Well, there's an X right here. I could just kind of follow this X. That's not too bad. That's kind of in view, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to glue this down. Just on both ends. Well, I probably should have trimmed it first. But that's okay. This looks really cute. We're down the middle. And then it's open in the middle. So we're going to take our metal tape and we're going to take just a little bit. I'll tell you how much it is after we cut it. How's that? Uh, looks like about an inch and a half. Cut it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it both at long edges into the center to make the little belt thingy. What do you call that? What do you call the belt thingy, Donna? Belt loop? No. Yeah, that's good. Better than what I would have thought of. I think the belt loops are what's on your pants. I don't know what that thing's called on the belt. Belt. It's, it's a buckle loop. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I, on the back, I just, I folded it over like that, and I think I just taped it last time. But we can glue. And then I glued it the top and I glued it at the bottom. And the nice thing about glue is you got time to mess with it a little before everything dries. Which you know I'm counting on. A little belt. Let me see. I oh. can't see the angle. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. I have to do the special Skype video. Okay, that's so cute. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, there it is. It came out good. Okay, so that one's good. So now we'll do the next one. Okay, I'll be right back. I go eat my ice pack. You go right ahead. Oh, I feel so bad. I think I'm going to end up putting it here. It looks pretty with that. Um, looks pretty with that little touch of blue. So this one we're going to have go sideways. And this band is three quarters of an inch. So, so I'm going to grab some ink again. Tell my Eileen L, one of our good friends and Ustream buddies. Eileen, I'm putting everything in the computer box storage thingy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I'm getting it out of the way. I love it. Joyce's computer box storage thingy. We should, we should say something. Joyce made a, you know, the, if you buy a laptop and you get a computer or something, it had this paper board 
uh, inserts, you know, holding the laptop in the box, right? So Joyce made it into a storage thing for paper and stuff. And I just thought that was so great. And I had recently gotten the laptop. So I go running into my recycling area to see if I still had the box. And sure enough, I did. And I pulled out the paperboard thing. And I made a storage thing. So I put all my tools in it because it's long and narrow. And it doesn't tip. It's really stable. And um, But we joke about how I have everything in my computer box storage thing. So. Although it wasn't in there. What? That's what the funny part was. Was that? Oh, yeah. Was when it was, I know. I went to look for something and I wasn't there. Well, you know what's not there right now? I can tell you what it is. It's my embossing folder. I'm... And my phone folder. I have no idea where that thing went. Did you accidentally stick it in the scoring board? No, because I have one in there. I have the little one that came with it. Um, but I'm sure, like Eileen would say, it's probably under the computer box storage thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I will score stuff because I've got three scoring tools. A lot of times, I know. I can't find them. I know. A lot of times, I'll stick them in my scoring scoring board. Yeah, that's a good idea. Though. You should know where it is, right? Yeah, I just store them all in there. Because that way, at least they're, I know where they are. <laughs> I know where they yeah, are. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to cut this one again. Just the little point on this one, which I just wing it. I you know, apologize to people who need more details, but I just wing it. I just keep cutting till I get it even. <laughs> So it ends up being like an inch instead of three, right? This one's going to go sideways. So see, this is a little shorter, so I don't need as much length on that. So much on that piece. Okay, so it'd be like four and what three quarters or something. I'm going to measure, but it'll be this will be four and three quarters, and this is probably still around three. Yeah, it is. Okay. But, you know, I'll probably cut it afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then we've got eyelets, high knot over here. And again, I can't hold it. I think I'm going to need to use white. There's nothing worse than trying to hunt down little eyelets. Like, Oh, don't make me go in my eye at all. Oh my gosh, you're obsessed. What? That is an obsessive amount of eye This is? Really? Uh, I thought everybody has like a, I thought I didn't have a lot because everyone has a wallow eye that's all color coded. And I just have what? a star. Oh my gosh. Really? You think this is a lot? I think it's an extreme amount. I love it. It makes me happy. And I was happy. I don't think I use. I I think what happened was I stopped buying them because they became such a pain in the butt. I kept crushing them. Yeah, they were no fun. See? Yeah, so they were no fun. So yeah. I stopped buying them, and I think I actually like gave them away or threw them out or something. <laughs> oh my heart. Yeah. So the only ones that I, the only eyes I have are they're bigger hold. Yeah. Like, almost like a grommet. You know, small grommet. Yeah. But there was like, I don't, I'll never forget it when the punch, when the punch came, the anywhere punch came out. Yeah. Where you could punch all over your page. Mm -hmm. Before they came out with the crocodile big bite, the one that you love so much. Uh. They, they, I don't, I'll never forget. It was in one of the, maybe creating keepsakes or memory makers, one of those at the time. Mm -hmm. But someone had done a page where like those eyelids were like. All over the page. That was like the background. Really? On purpose? Yeah, on purpose. That was all. And I just thought I would never do it because I couldn't That's stand funny. setting them. And back then we used to have to use the hammer. Yeah. So get out your cutting, and then you couldn't. It was was a big joke because you couldn't set your eyelids at night when normally you could go in and crop because your kids were sleeping and, you know, your husband's sleeping. So you're sitting in there hammering. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's what we used to do. You take a old cutting board, a hammer, you know, the little hammer, and the anywhere eyelet setting tool, 
and you do it anywhere punch you so you smash the punch down and punch a hole on the page wow and then you take your setter and you hit that with the hammer too and it was like pound 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 oh um, yeah i know ladies that were doing that at um archivers during the crop oh yeah oh it's so annoying oh yeah well just think of it that's all we had yeah. So you have a whole room of women at a crop doing that. <laughs> or if you take a class, you'd have a whole room of <laughs> everybody would be pounding. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, and I was talking to somebody about that once too, and they were telling me that um, that's why they do it, so they don't make noise at home. I was like, are you kidding me? So you make noise with 50 of your closest friends? Yeah, exactly. Alright, so I'm going to attach, i got to do my little metal tape thing again here. I mean, We Are Memory Keepers really did make some, uh, they make some awesome tools that, like, yeah, they make fabulous tools. I wish that we had had, like, years ago when we first started out. I love my crocodile. I've said more than once that if I were on a deserted island, I would want my crocodile. My crocodile, my tiny attacher. I would want. You could build a whole entire hut with just your tiny attacher and your crocodile. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> you could stable all your palm fronds together. Uh, I could. I'd do it too, you know me. That really is cute. Too cute! Okay. So, the only thing I'm going to have here is trimming it. So, it's probably around there somewhere. I like the floral with that. Okay, good. So that's those two. So now all we have to do is let's get these two tags done. Um, and then let me let those dry for a second while I'm working on these. got some distress paint. I love the distress paints. If I were on a deserted island, <laughs> it's going to like wash. I would want my distress paint. So you could paint your hut. A whole Tim Holtz survival kit. Holy cow. Think about it. Tim Holtz, we are memory keepers. Okay, I realize, you know, there's no there's no organization to that at all. But, but that's Oh yeah, you could skewer you could skewer marshmallows on his craft pick. Yum. Just want to touch a pink on there and then I'm gonna a little bit of blue. Wow. You know what the cool thing about this is? It dries really fast. Love it. I love how it works on metals. Oh gosh. It works on everything. I adore it. I adore it. 
I haven't gotten the new colors yet. Oh, I did. I'm hoping, I'm, I was kind of hoping we'd get those for in our Italy kit. That'd be nice. I just, um, I, it's the one paint that I use the most often. I almost thought I stuck my arm in that. <laughs> Me too. I do too, but where, I could, where do you find it online? I think I got mine on, um, on, uh, Molly Square. Oh, uh, I don't ever do Molly Square. I know, I made that mistake of not, like, somebody tweeted it, so of course I had to go there. Did you know how that is? Okay, so, but you know what, Jonna? I'm getting better at knowing what I'll use and what I want. I'm getting so much better at that, and it's definitely helping the budget. Not that, just kind of react, be in react mode, you know? Uh-huh. So I have this cute little star stamp. It came from a kit of, um, I, I don't remember who it's by. I want to say it's Hero Arts, but, um, they're, they're like buttons. They look like buttons, and there was this cute little Western star, so I'm going to stamp it. I can see what I'm doing. That one's really cute. I'm just doing a little because, you know, somebody might want to put photos or something on here. So I don't want to do too much, but that looks good. So we'll let those dry. Those are the tags that are going in the front and back covers. And now we'll cut out. I've got some things already cut out for the pocket pages. So we're pretty much just going to put the stuff in. And then we'll do the, we'll do the cover and then that's it. Well, actually, I don't have to put these in yet. I need to bind it. I was going to say, I don't think you... Mm -hmm. I didn't know if you poked the holes already. No, I need to poke the hole. That's next. All right, so let's do that. So, the way I designed this was I did three holes here for the binding, and then three holes here attaching the horseshoe to the cover. So it kind of looks like a gatefold album, although there's no pin down the middle, but it kind of looks like a gatefold, but it only folds on the top. So that's what we're going to do. We'll um, put the holes in, and then we'll get to decorate. So, how did I do that last time? <laughs> I think I winged it. Oh, you know what I did, though? On my horseshoe, I, um, I have this tiny little 1-8 hole punch. And I punched holes randomly down it to look like horseshoe, you know, nail holes. So I'm going to do that. So they're smaller than than the small side on the crocodile? The small yeah, punch they're eight, look, they're tiny, tiny. Okay. And it's not like you're going to really see it, but it does add that little extra thing, you know. I suppose you could use anything that you happen to have. Basically, use it. I made up a template with my pattern. 
Do I have two rings or three rings? I have three. I have three holes because I laced it. See, I laced it. That's why I want to show how to do that. Oh, I can't see it because remember I'm on Skype. Here, pajama Skype. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you laced it. You didn't use rings. Nope. Okay, got yeah, it. I used the leather. I mean, that suede, and then I did it here too. Yeah. And then I, I left Dexter here so that when you add pages, you can widen that out. Oh, that's smart. So. But anyway, yeah, I'm smart. I have no idea where my template is. So I may just... I know part of my planning for the holes was so that I could do some decoration. So let's just see. And then I set my crocodile. I set my crocodile, so I measured it so that every time I did the holes, they were the same distance from the. Yeah, that's what I like about the crocodile. So I'm going to do that now. So you, the holes are smaller than the ones you could get, like if you used the um, the cinch. Holes for what? The holes you do for the lacing, you couldn't use the cinch. You could use the cinch. I just, I don't know how, I actually thought about using the cinch, but I'm putting eyelets in the cover, so, because I think it helps with the suede. I'm just setting, I'm just trying to get my measurements, sorry, I keep moving, here I go again. You know what it is? My chair, I'm back so far. Okay, so, oh, so you did eyelets, um, did you do eyelets on all the pages too? No, just the covers. Oh, okay. Just to reinforce it all. I mean, you could do it if you really wanted to. I don't think you need it. I guess it would depend on how thick your paper was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the binding to do with thin paper, that's for sure, because you're, whenever you're using any kind of lace like that, it will, it can tear the paper. I'm just trying to get this adjusted. I have no sense of direction, so I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I guess you could use paper reinforcers too instead of eyelets if you needed to. Yeah, I was thinking of that as well. I was thinking of um, doing that on the inside pages. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, see that's kind of where I want it. So I'm going to do it in there. I don't know. Okay, so how do I describe where I just put those? I put the the middle one, I put right pretty much in the middle of the album. That was kind of my thinking there. And then I went about three quarters of an inch above and below. Does that make sense? Yes. And the reason I did that was I didn't want to get too around the curve. I tried to stay on the straightest part of the horseshoe, and then that helps the lace, and it helps the pages turn, and it's not all wonky. So, we'll just keep going. What trying to say about dump the paper out works. Oh, squeeze it and okay. yeah, tilt it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, see, just go like that. It doesn't work with all paper, but the vast majority of it it does. Well, you don't have to keep don't keep opening and closing, you just as soon as you punch you let it go, you squeeze it once and tip it over and it comes right out. Okay. The only time that it won't is if you if you're punching through adhesive, yeah. then you get stuck in there. When you do your pages, do you do more than one page at a time? Because I have not necessarily been successful with that. With the crocodile, yeah. You do. You do more than one page at a time. Yes. If you have a clamp, 
<laughs> you can clamp them together so they won't. She knows I don't have a clamp. That's why. But don't you have a binding? Don't you have a binding? One of those little binding clamps. That's why she's saying it. That's okay. I'm going for it, Jonna. I'm going for it. But see, if you clamp them, they won't slide. Then you won't have the issue. That's all I'm telling you. That. Yeah. But don't you have those? Don't you have binding clamps? I have one floating around here somewhere. But I'm good now. This is small. I can hold this right in my hand. I think okay. if you had a bigger one, it would be a problem. Yeah. It's working out great. Okay, I know what I'm filling your stocking with this year. Clamps. <laughs> How much? I'll never need a clamp again after that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I can, I can't craft without my clamps. I, I use them every time. That's so funny. I probably have three projects in my craft room right now that all have clamps on them. Wow. Let me just clean up for a second here. Okay, and how long can you record before you have to stop? Because it would be nice to just get through this whole thing. Um, I think it's like two and a half hours. Okay. So it's probably okay. What time is it? It says it's um, 10.08. Oh, okay. You're now at two hours. Okay. Well, you should be able to see how long it's recorded. It's in red up in the far, up in the top left corner of your screen. Okay. Let me just get, let me get through this. Okay. Uh, so cute. So cute. Okay, and then this one. We're going to do three holes the same distance. So. Okay, and I still got my little belly band people over here to do because. Um, Because they were done. Let me just get these down. Look at me. Oh my goodness, we're not going to have a crocodile in Italy. Um, well, we might. <laughs> Are you back in one? <laughs> we might. Okay, that's good. Pack one. <laughs> Do you never know what's going to happen with me and the crocodile. Okay, so that's that. I haven't figured out the order of events yet. I probably should do So cute together. Look at those two together. I'm sure they're really cute together. <laughs> <laughs> what are you what's the matter you're not enthusiastic I'm over in Skypeville I can't, I'm in Skype mode I can't see <laughs> oh, sorry. when you hold stuff up to the camera for the U stream she feels left out she I can't feels see left it out. okay oh. oh yeah that's adorable I gotta put the three holes on the opposite side and do that yet I think I'm gonna give my bohemian one away I think I'm gonna run out and buy that ugh it is so dark. Are you going to have any left over? Oh my gosh, yes. I'll send it to you. I have time left. 
all the time left. After you build your... I think so. You might have to get a 6x6 six six pad, but I'll, I think I'll have enough of a 12x12 12 12 to give you. Because I got, like, the whole kit. Keep the kit. Okay. I'm just, um, putting the three corresponding holes in the cover if you want the other side. Maybe I can, that's what I can do. I can give Melody the Bohemian one for Christmas. There you go. Okay, so now we grab our spade. We can decorate the cover. We're going to have to decorate the cover before we put all this in anyway, so let's do that. Maybe I should stop now and do part two decorating the mini. What do you think? Yeah, I think you should. You could do binding and, and decorating. Okay. Stopping the recording. <laughs>